Oh, hey. Hey, how's it going? Spencer Rempel, Gibbons Motor Toys here. Look what I got behind me here. Awesome boats. This 201 right here, DV, my favorite boat. I love this thing. Clean her up and, uh, and give you a better look at it. Hey, it might not be around much longer. Got a really nice fella taking a good close look at it. Thinks that just might be the boat for him. So before it leaves, let's take a closer look. Okay, so what I want to show you here, first off, is just a good overview of just a few of the many great features of this Weldcraft boat. So we're looking at the 201 DV, and it is 22 foot, 3 inches wide with the pod. I'll give you a better, closer look at that uh, in a minute. And it is 102 inches wide. It's got 36 inch deep sides, and uh, so she's deep, she's wide. It's a big water boat. It's got 0 .190 uh, thickness on the bottom. Beautiful welds. Wait a minute. One nine oh. Let me okay, show this you. This is this is this is 0.188 actually of a plate of thickness. So you can see, you know, just how strong the bottom is of that boat. And let's take a look at some of these gorgeous welds. Okay, so again, we're looking at a 36 inch side here. You can see this boat is really deep. It's got a nice extrusion along the side here, full side paint, so it's really strong. You'll notice there's absolutely no wave along the, along the side here. It's just done such a great job on building this boat. Coming around to the front, it's got a nice high polish happening here in the front. That looks really good. And that extrusion that comes along here, you'll see this, this is actually a one inch thick aluminum really adding in strength and there's a reverse chine that runs all the way up to the front so this boat is going to give you a really good dry ride let me tell you now looking at the front here you see these beautiful rails high polished aluminum rails these are all welded on we've matched her up with a beautiful easy loader trailer tandem axle and it's got even a, a gear reduction ratio on this uh, winch here which is really nice and is a beautiful setup for this boat. You'll notice it's a half hard top. I love half hard top. Nice windows along the side there, full opening, screens and all. And then in the back, there's a nice drop curtain. Hey, let's take a closer look. Come on, right this way. Let's get it. There we go. You can see in the back here, we've got a nice drop curtain. This rolls up right out of the way. So you've got great access here, or of course, you can just take this off, there's snaps along the side here, and this whole thing comes out, and you've got great access to the back of the boat. Notice how tall it is. I'm six foot two, and I have absolutely no problem, not ducking the least little bit to get into this nice, tall, and wide, wide boat. Another smart thing that they've done with this top here, was right in here where this zips out. Little attention to detail as they've done two zippers there. So I can also put a sloper top on here. I can zip a sloper top on, have all of my cargo area covered up, and uh, I don't even have to take the drop curtain off. Way to go, Weldcraft. Who always thinks of that? Okay, I just opened her up a little bit back here so you get an idea uh, of just how roomy it is and how easy it is to get back to these rods, fish on. Let's take a look at this back deck. You notice here, there's some camera work going on there too. Look at that, nice mounts there for your downriggers. And then with these um, high polished aluminum rails there, uh, you can put uh, mounts on there for uh, rod holders or anything else that you need as well. Uh, this is a wash down system, tucked away into the transom back here, which is just beautiful. And then that all disappears actually, and then there's a lid that goes on there. Nice huge live well back here. Really big, check that out. I like how it's in two parts here. Can it open up like that, like this. Take a look inside. Nice and large, but they know that might not be enough room. Hey, we're heavy fishermen here. We might need some more space. Look at that, there's a nice fish well in the floor here as well. Great access in the back. Fuel filters in that. This is really nice here. You get into here and you can see 
there's our battery switch, there's our bilge pump. It's got it all and all really easy to get at. Nice gunnels in the side here, nice trays, carpeted. Uh, that's a good sound dampening and also put your rods in there. Rod storage along the sides here, you'll notice. And again, that's all a really nice high polished aluminum and you got rod storage up top here as well. Okay, nice big deck back here. Um, I want to show you, this is a great feature. It's really smart, something they've done here. These pull off. And there you go. Hey, check it out. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey. Let's open her up and see how the sides and the front open up there too. How smart is that? This front port quarter panel actually comes right out. So it's not flopping in the wind when you have it roll instead of having it rolled up. That's smart. So this is nice, eh? Check it out. Ski pylon comes with it and it's easily removable. It runs right down into the bottom there and, uh, and is fastened on and just one pin takes that out. I like very much that they have these nice shelves along here. Great storage. Dome Interior dome light is nice. Great hand holds here. Nice wide side seats. Lots of space in here. Comfortable seats at the helm and the passenger. And look at this, we've done this up really nice. This is the, the controls for the 9.9 kicker and there is the controls, uh, digital throttle controls for your 200 Merc Verado. Look at the storage here. Storage in the step here that walks, comes through as well. Nice big glove box, cup holders. Walk through into the bow, checker plate, wipers on both sides. Hope this gives you a little idea of just how spacious and nice this boat is without being too big. I love that sweet spot of a boat where it's just the right size, you know, not too big, easy to tow around, half ton pickup, your, your small SUV, anything can tow it around, easy to dock, but hey, this is a kind of boat you can take out to the ocean, uh, you can take out to big lakes, you know, cold lakes, start trolling, lake trout, over to the ocean on holidays, Prince Rupert, catching salmon, crabs, everything, this boat is a holiday boat, hey, you can put a, you got the ski pile on here, put the kids on a tube and tow them on behind. All right, and just uh, one more thing, we got to talk about uh, the hull of this boat, I want to talk about the length of that 22 foot with the pot. It's a 20 foot boat, but it acts more like a 22 foot, smooths that ride out. Come take a look at the bottom here. So this is where it goes along to the, to the 22 feet. And you can see that nice delta pad there on the bottom. You'll notice no lifting strakes underneath. I thought, hey, how come it doesn't have those? Doesn't it need those? He said, no, it doesn't need it at all. When we took it out for a test drive, um, we found that it didn't. It was a nice, quiet ride without them, and it performed just great. You've got great big zinc anodes there. Of course, you have them on your outboard engines as well. Here they've done some nice trim tabs uh, mounts here, so you don't have to drill any holes in your boat if you want to have trim tabs on there. Look at those welds. And they're great. They really show off their welds because they just do such a good job. Really reinforced here. Let's look underneath, eh, where no one's even going to look. Beautiful. Beautiful Also work. then, a potential high impact area would be your center line, and this again is another full one inch aluminum that runs along the entire keel there. This is a variable 18 degree, but it really has variance to it. It's much steeper at the front and then feathers out to the 18 degree in the back. So it can really handle the weight. It's definitely a big water boat with a real attention to detail. This boat was made by people that go boating, let me tell you. Place that things are in the right place, stuff is built strong and tough. 
I couldn't be more impressed, really. So, Worldcraft 201 DV, you've seen it here at Gibbons Motor Toys. I'm Spencer Rempel, and thanks for watching.